Good evening, friends, and welcome once again to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. When we last met, we had achieved our goal of uh, usurping the uh, kingdom of, or not the kingdom, the Empire of Britannia, uh, now capitaled out of uh, our county seat in Westmoreland. Um, some people had asked if I would move the county down to Middlesex. Uh, while flavor-wise, I will probably eventually do that. Um, at the moment, not a good idea. Uh, largely because these are the Italian uh, lands still, and also this uh, Duchy of Hereford uh, here, and then the Norman territories down here. Um, if I put the county seat, or the, the, the overall capital there, um, that poses a very good threat for it to be attacked, uh, and that would dr alter the war score, and there's a larger bonus for capturing the overall capital of your enemy, um, and so I don't want to put it somewhere where it's readily accessible uh, to the enemy. So, I'm not going to. I will simply wait and, uh, once I maybe kick the Italians out of it, uh, England properly, uh, maybe then move it to London. Uh, but for the time being, at the moment, um, it, a good idea would be to kind of leave it where it lies uh, in order to um, make sure that it stays safe. Uh, at the moment. Um, also in the last part we did take over uh, three territories in Brittany um, look and also usurp the duchy for ourselves. We are now the Duke of Brittany um, so that's fun and uh, we're looking to take the other counties uh, as soon as we can um, however the vassal levy uh, penalty is rather high at the moment and so it is to our advantage to, if at all possible, keep the levies down so that we're not having to fight and lose troops. Because as you can see, uh, we have we have a very low amount of troops we can call on because largely our vassals are kind of uh, pissed off with us. Uh, France has gotten rather large, pressing down here, in here into Spain. And so some things that I would be interested in is taking the, uh, the two kingdoms here on the western coast eventually. Um, declaring some holy war to take these uh, territories. Uh, one is Galicia, and the other one is Portugal. So taking these two uh, kingdoms might not be a bad idea either. Um, and what else? What else? What else? Uh, Italy is its own uh, faction now, uh, ruled over by the new... I didn't notice this at the end, but I suppose the uh, the king, King Philip, the one we had been fighting for most of the... Uh, the game last uh, last term uh, finally passed away, shuffled off this mortal coil at the age of 72, uh, leaving behind his grandson to uh, king the uh, or to run the kingdom, um, King Godfrey the first of Italy and Greece, and so he controls these territories, meaning then that we can launch a war against him. Uh, because the truce is expired, because the truce is signed between leaders. If the leader dies, the truce is gone. Uh, and you don't have to wait the uh, five, ten years, whatever it is, uh, for that. So, uh, that will be uh, on our uh, agenda as well in this part. Uh, but for now, let's um, go through this. No weak claims that are really of note. Uh, you... What are you doing? Who's Richard. I don't know who Richard is, so I don't really care. And you're trying to kill some bloke. And you're trying to fabricate a claim. Whatever. None of those things directly affect me, so I'm not going to worry about it for the moment. Uh, we've got um, ducal claims in here, here, and here. Uh, but again, don't want to press those straight away. Wait a little while on those. Those aren't going anywhere. So, with that in position, let us crack on. With the, uh, with the part. I'm planning a special occasion with my lover, but my wife is quite insistent on alternate plans. Who is more important to me, my wife or my lover? <clears throat> um, deceitful. No, I don't want any Diplo penalties. I will s try to spend time with my wife instead. And I am no longer in love with my adulterous lover and mother of one of my sons. Whoops. Let's 
see how this is going. Uh, my daughter wants to be married to someone. Let's see what we can do about that, daughter. Marriage. To... We'll go for you because you'll be helpful if we start moving in against Spain. Marriage between you and my daughter. Awesome. Go for it. Negative 30 something prestige. I really don't care. Now, oop, Mongols have taken another settlement. Uh, okay, we've got a claim here in Maine, so that's good. Might press that one sooner. Uh, no you're not. Stop that. Thank you. And which vassals are most upset with me? Gloucester, but he's... Norfolk. Canucks. Monster, Lothian. Let's put you in Lothian. Can't. Not for two more days. There we go. Oh, our chaplain has fallen to heresy. Stick you there. Improve relations. Let's get a new bishop. Uh, there you go. And cultural tech in Leon. <coughs> Jihad has failed. Our Chancellor has just upped and died. I suppose you. Who is our son in law? I think you're our son in law. Your turn. Go to Lothian. to die, old woman. <clears throat> it would be advantageous for you to shuffle off this mortal coil. What are we doing? Going down pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Our military forces have gone up. Um, Nearly 7,000 uh, more troops available to us, uh, so that's quite good. Let it keep dropping. Um, sure, whatever, that's fine. That's also fine, I don't care. You've mistaken me for someone who cares. <laughs> Yes, I will pay the man. And we are working under Mr. Miyagi again. Uh, where are you off to war? No, oh, damn. Cool, who are you fighting? Or Leon. Yeah, France is just really just powering through. The uh, Spanish territories. Formerly Spanish territories, I should say, I suppose. You, who is the Duke of Nantes. Let's fabricate a claim on Penthief. That's nice. I'd like to see you use it. Educate under me. How are we 
doing? Improved our martial point yet again. Yes, of course, we'll invite somebody. Hooray! Lothian likes me a little bit more. You have a positive opinion of me. Who else? Duke of Moray. Duchess. Duke of Munster. Eh. You're in prison, you don't matter. Countess of... Uh, yeah, we'll give it to you. There you go. Make him like us, Chancellor. Oh, no. Sorry, not gonna happen. Hooray, the mayor has come and he likes me. Good. Temperance is a virtue. <clears throat> so far, so good. Strong is a good trait for him to have. Who gave him that? You have that? No. All right. Here we go, we've improved our martial ability sufficiently. Up to nine martial points. Let's go for Intrigue. I think in the year 1300 we will uh, press in. We'll actually go for Main. Um, l uh, largely because that is a... Uh, territory that we um, have a false claim on, a, uh, oh, stop it, uh, oops, a uh, fabricated claim on, and so should our king die, that claim goes away, uh, and that is a problem. Brilliant. Suppose I could make Duke of Norfolk like me a little bit more. Maybe. Nope, our spy master doesn't like me. That's a problem. Why are you angry? Too many held duchies. Well, is there any duchies that I can get rid of? Bedford. I don't want to get rid of any of the counties. I want to keep it in my family. Hmm. Let's we'll see if we can work a way around that. Put you there. These numbers aren't going down very quickly. Maybe if I... Hmm. Let's have a look at the factions. This one is getting rather large. You. I'll arrest you. I a decent chance of getting it through. Where are you? Arrest. There we go. Knock that faction down a peg.
don't know if that 300 date is going to be a valid date for me to push this. But we will see. We will try. That is for sure. Hmm. Nope. Doing anything? Um, any of these? No. Hmm. Oh well, nothing I can really do at the moment. Let him rot. There we go. Norfolk is down. Let that one come up a bit. Yes, Gregarious. Please and thank you. So far, you're shaping up to be pretty good, William. Pretty good indeed. a good trait. Our spy master has died. Long live the spy master. Okay, now we're getting into Mayora levels and that's not going to be too much of a problem. Oh, hello. Elective succession. Hmm. We might end up having to fight this war first. Because it does not look like there is anything I can do to stop this. Hmm. Well, we're going to just fight that, that bit first. Yep, there it is. Um, elective succession in Britannia. Nope. I will not be blackmailed. We will see what happens. Okay. So it looks like everyone there has pulled up about 2,000 troops. Which has diminished us by about 10,000. Um... Ireland, stand down. You're not in a good enough position to be able to defend yourselves. You lot. How do I want to fight this? We have to be careful so that we don't let people get killed. Alright, I think... I think I have the advantage here. So we'll head those in that direction. If I pull all these guys here into Lancaster, I've got that advantage. Stand you down for now. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> let's see what happens. Okay. Hopefully this swings our way. Oxford, we've won. Really have to pick and choose where you want us to take our battles. Okay, taken one person. We've won at Lancaster. That's good. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got an army of ten there. Send you up into Cumberland. Okay, we have one down here. Send you against Essex. Who's leading the army? Galloway is. Okay. And then let us call up an inexpensive band. There we go. So we've got nearly double their troops. <coughs> okay, we take out Essex's army. We're going after Oxford's. Move you into Clydesdale. Gonna take a fight at a penalty there. Okay. Let's go with flat terrain, because that is pretty universally good, with no real detriment. Situational at best, but still. Okay, you're going to Galloway. I suppose you can stay there and attack in Derby. There is, there's that army squared. Actually, head to Ulster. Oh, fuck. Well, no, you're the heretic, aren't you? Yeah. Convert. Nope. There you are. And I will give you a title, just because you did what I said. There you go. Happy Christmas. You are heading to Argyle. Uh, you need someone to educate you. You're actually pretty good. Learn under him. And our steward is gone. So we will give it to you, I suppose. The Mayor of London is now our steward. Steward in London, please. Yes, yes, whatever. Head down this way. We take out the Northumbrian army. Taking out another Galway army. I don't think we're incurring levy raised penalties for this. Are we? No, those are those are holding but not going up because we are fighting within the kingdom. Uh, and I think those only apply to uh, outside the kingdom. Let's see. Let's have a look at you. You're pretty good. Alright. Let's see. The Duke of Berry, which is there. Yeah, but you're young. You. Yeah, we'll marry you off to the Duke of Toulouse. Yeah, you are. go. So we're up to a 16% war success at the moment. Which is pretty good, I'd say. Hmm. Don't want him to take any of those. Why is that even a good thing? Let's hope that nothing bad happens. Hey, he's gained the honest trait. Who's gained some Diplo bonus. Hooray! Again, at the penalty of an intrigue. Peasant revolt. Nothing I can do about that at the moment.
Yep, good. Actually, you stay here, and we'll besiege this settlement. Go for it. Let's see, is that... Oh, that puts another one under our territory. That's good. So now we've just got these two. Are you in rebellion against me? You are, because you are controlled by Oxford. Let's see, you've got too many troops. Let's move you up. Actually into Galloway. Since you are the rat who started this arm or this war, we will bring the wrath of the cr crown down upon you. Okay, we've taken Darby. Let's move then against Northampton. Welsh armies are doing quite well against Northumberland. Hey, Marco Polo has gone and done his thing. Hooray. Let's see how this is going. This is going fine. So we should be able to, uh, once this war is over, then go after the Italian king who is now 30 years of age, and we are 42. So we should be able to get in a couple good wars against him. Let's see what France looks like at the moment. It's, looks looks fairly stalemated. Oh, I've picked a new, uh, new mistress. There we go. My lover is Constance. Where is she? You. Let's marry you off to somebody. you that. I'm going to give you some money so that you like me a little bit more. Desires the Duchy of Brittany. Nope. You may desire it all you wish, but you, but you will not actually have it. Damn. Peasant Revolt, oh well. Yes, please. All right. We convince him that uh, we want to improve our intrigue score. So that training will commence. We will go up from zero, which is pitiful. Let's put him somewhere where he'll do some good. Here. Where all of our prisoners are. No, oh, fine. You're some mayor. Alright, we've t taken one of Galloway's territories. And he 
He's going to Galloway. Taking Northampton. We have killed Duke Christopher. Just seeing if I could excommunicate him for giggles. Uh, nope. Let us head north, take those out, take him out, and then go here against, a, I think that's a Tyrconnell army. Alright. Jeff. Let's marry you off to somebody in our dynasty, so that you produce children of our dynasty. There we go. There we go. We will have that little thing. Good. And my good son, Jeff. Let us give you we will grant you a title. Grant you pen thief. Send. And then grant you Brittany. There you go. Duke Jeff the First of Brittany. Isn't that fun? Yeah, we've lost to some rebels somewhere. Not much we can do about that, though. Go back to Northumberland. Our daughter is now of legal age. Let's see. Do that. Marry you off to the Duke of Luxembourg. Hooray! Alright, our intrigue has improved. Up to one. Hooray! <laughs> yep. Attacked by bandits. Yep, that's nice. Yes, please. Adopt the marshal's ideas. Improve things. Uh, we'd like him to be filled with kindness. Hooray! 